my father's music shop um, in several different locations, but to pinpoint where it was, it was in Utica, New York. Small shop, and my father, you know, dealt predominantly in used guitars, used and vintage guitars. And there were a ton of pedals, you know. Um, the display case in the shop was always full of, you know, vintage pedals and, you know, a lot of MXR stuff. But the first time I became aware of, like, MXR, it's a company that was built in upstate New York. And you see those old MXR um, ad adverts in, like, Guitar Player magazine. And it says, MXR, Rochester, New York, you know. And the feeling was pride because we were upstate New York people. You know, and as far as the guitar world, you know, this is the biggest thing that's ever come out of um, our part of the world. The first MXR pedals I ever had, um, the very first one was the Phase 100. And the reason why I love the Phase 100 is because I, I needed a Leslie and I couldn't afford a Leslie. And I discovered on this Phase 100 script logo, kind of like this one, if you turned up the speed and the intensity, you know, if you, it, one of these, one of these sine waves here, I, I think it's the, the one that looks like a pair of glasses. And if you turn the speed up almost three quarters of the way, it really did sound like a, a fast speed Leslie. Um, the second pedal I bought um, back in the day was the Stereo Chorus. And, and it really was kind of, you know, harkens back to when I saw Robin Trow with three Marshalls and it just, the sound was so big and wide. And so like, that's what I want to be, you know? So then, you know, of course you start taking a look at what he's got on his pedal board, and he's got one of those splitting the signal. just for me boils down to uh, making the music that you hear in your head and the pedals are there to help facilitate that a little bit. You know? When I first started using MXR pedals, you know, it was rock and roll, it was blues. You know, now um, you're seeing a new generation of fans discovering the pedals for the very first time, who, who take these pedals and get a sound out of the guitar that I when I was a kid didn't think was possible, you know? And I think what the cool thing is is that the product line really has something for everybody. Again, the high gain thing is covered. You know, the, the bluesier side of it is covered. And, you know, and it just all ultimately works for a guitarist because uh, MXR is a, is a staple. When you think of a pedal, it's almost in the vernacular. When you think of a guitar stomp box, it's MXR. You know, that's, like, that's, what, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. 